And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? <clears throat> uh, I suppose so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in no <laughs> Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Uh. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh, shoot. Um, was it left leg forward? Hmm, lacking. Okay, the left leg forward. Place. But we've learned to expect less of Northlings. <sighs> I've heard about this because um, it's like it's it's a showing but not telling the sort of situation. Will address the emperor only when asked to. And using the appropriate title. Um, uh, you are arch magnificent. <laughs> I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Where am I? Friggin' good golly. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gun favort. Favort. That gun has a witcher. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. <laughs> We're gonna die. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's, she's your what? And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. It's one of my charming traits, I think. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do That's that why Yennefer is helping. The audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. She looks me. very, yes. uh... So tell me why you're looking for her. in there. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state. As oh, always. okay. Not because you love her. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Uh, need information, not motivation, or only doing this for Siri? Uh, need, uh, yeah. I need information. Yeah. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army. Should the wow. need arise, Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith, take him to the sorceress. 
I thought they didn't like sorcerers or sorceresses in Nilfgaard either. Okay, in the books, I thought Emir wanted to marry her, but maybe I read that wrong? He's her kid. She's her kid? I not understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the I emperor? Forgot. Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. I shall be oh. punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. I'm sorry, guy. Every action has consequences in this game. Okay, so I shouldn't talk to anybody. That's broken. What? There's words, but I can't. Me? You're talking about me. Huh. This is the palace, but the Nilfgaardians have taken it over. Whoa. I didn't do anything! Vicovara! I have a sword from there. Sounds kind of German. Sounds kind of Russian, too. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay. Okay, so I had to pause the recording, and then we've started up again. Whoa, Geralt's head's been somewhere. I just read really quick the um, additional characters. We had Emir. And so it says his daughter in Geralt's ward, Cirilla, was in great danger. Uh, Geralt, a superb tracker linked to Emir's daughter by the Iron Bonds of Destiny. Which in the books, Cirilla was the daughter of a noble, or uh, a line in, oh, I can't remember the name now. It was a, it was a place that was completely decimated by the Nilfgaardians and like her but her parents had died in some strange sea accident and her grandmother raised her but she was promised to him because um to Geralt because she was a child of destiny where he is like one of those things it was one of those things where it's like like you return home and there's something you know you have to give to me what you were not expecting when you left or something you know what I mean uh so yeah. And that's how... That, th those children have a higher chance of becoming a witcher or something? Um... But... Or those are the only ones who can become witchers? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. But... Yeah. The Emir wanted to marry her to, like, solid... Like, or, like, to marry her... Or something to solidify an alliance... Or to solidify his hold on the area... Because apparently Siri was like heir to like several thrones in the area or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, and Mor Morvin Voris, I can't remember. I his name kind of rings a bell, but I'm not sure. But apparently he's like super high rank, pure blood, and but Geralt probably wouldn't care. <laughs> That's basically what it says. But all right, let's go talk to Yennefer. Wait, in here? Yet. Yes, and transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the Church of the Eternal Fire. And oh, the this is the ambassador they were mentioning. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft in triplicate. A vedimi. Directly out of Nordling tales. Inconceivable. Me? 
All right, well, I won't bother you, you guy. I was told not to bother anybody. Can I... Can I save? Wait, uh, save. I want to try to get a book. Yeah. What is a non-human? As the very name suggests, it is something that which resembles, yet nonetheless is not a human. Though it walks on two legs, speaks a tongue similar to our own, and dresses in similar attire, it all the same has more in common with base B. Ah, uh, No, they don't. My... They care most for colored feathers. What? No, they don't. Shh. Trying to destroy everything magic in the world. They're not. I have no time. They're not like perfect or wonderful or anything, but they all have their own flaws and all that, but Geralt, that tunic you look positively smashing Oh, Ugh, stop. Dying to take it off I'd uh -oh. consider that a proposition under different circumstances One I might even take you up on, but we've matters to attend to. Her hair is beautiful! Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's call? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. It seems we're in the same boat now. She always so, wore black and white. She's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. She's beautiful. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. <laughs> but let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find ah. her, Geralt. Before so now I'm very does. confused. The books, I'm like, I don't know. Like, apparently if I read, I might I'll have to check again. I don't even know. But... The books it was very different so now i'm like african i don't know i don't know what's going on <laughs> uh, maybe i should read like a summary of the first and second game just so i have a better idea of what's going on the wild hunt what could it want from siri i've no clue Geralt. might have written them to ask but i don't have their address you know something i know as much as you do it must be about her blood her gift as for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... She's chaos. I not to think about it, really. In the books. She's basically chaos. She's a, she's a force for good or for evil. She's a hinge point. All, apparently, and apparently it's not just her. The reason Emir wanted her, wanted, to, wanted her, like, to marry her or whatever, or have a child with her, was because apparently the, chi the son that she's going to bear is going to be the one that will, like, bring the world, like, to fire and damnation or whatever. And it was suggested that Emir wanted... He's the White Flame, right? 
And he wants to control this chaos in his, for use, even though he's not supposed to be superstitious, right? He still wants to kind of control this chaos in a way that's beneficial to him. Freaking, I don't know, though. Now, I mean, I don't know. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? <laughs> None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. <laughs> All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Dandelion? Triss Merigold. No, okay! Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a ah! magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. What? We have to go our separate ways? Why didn't you contact me? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? Ah, uh, he's a little bit needy. I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Well, it's a pretty good one. Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't oh. wish to hear it. Any of it. Nice. Uh-oh. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think oh, so? Oh, cute! Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. Okay. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads. Purple and come eyes back to you in one piece. I should be waiting. Okay, cute. So things aren't horrible. Things are okay. This could have gone much worse with Yennefer. Okay. Do you have any books? Oh, you do. Whoa! Whoa! Bye, Yen. Just take my. She who knows. Uh. Why is this superstitious stuff in a? Oh, I guess this was originally not the Nilfgaardian castle, right? Hmm. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh no! There's a spirit! Okay, there's a very powerful spirit down there. Okay, that's something I'm gonna have to deal with, I guess, at some point. <laughs> this is a door. I th is it a door? I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. That's a door. I could go out that way. Royal lineages of the north. Oh, Cirilla! Yay! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, wait, Cirilla was born heiress to the throne of Sintra. Blah, 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 blah. So many freaking. Wait, wait, wait. Daughter of Parvada and. Oh, Emir of. Oh. Granddaughter of the. Yes, Lioness of Sintra. Yes. Shipwreck occurred, which took the lives of the Urchion, Urchion and Pavita? What? But he's obviously still alive. 
So it was for their upbringing, it was interested in her grandmother in 1260. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Okay. What? He, he's obviously still kicking it, though. <sighs> Sharing tales of wraithly procession and the wild hunt twins and gales and blah blah blah. The hunt brings its own ice. Hmm. Oh! The hunt rushes in and they disappear, only to return long years later with no memory of what passed in the time between. So they return them. A sword for witches! And who are the hunters? The decent kind, hitters of lies, doers of good! Uh, we, we haven't a leader, the god-fearing, we're not sworn to him. Only serve the eternal fire. Yes, yes, that sounds like a great religion to be a part of. Uh, we explain how to spot the telltale signs of evil. Birthmarks and strange and arcane shapes. Smooth skin on a matron aged more than 30 springs and a... Friggin', huh. More than 30 springs and black cats kept in the yard. So this... Oh, boy. Squeeze the sinner's darkest secrets out of them with a hot iron and how to grant them cleansing death. So there's a thing, right? Like, pagan rituals, kind of like this, I guess you could say. It's stuff that I think is really cool, um, like in general. And it's always kind of been a, I don't know, was, I think the world kind of lost something when it lost its belief in magic. But at the same time, this, you know, because Emir's like, I'm going to bring civilization and blah, 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 blah. This is one of the things that they are trying to. I think, anyway, I would I would assume that they are trying to be like, no, this is deadly, horrid superstition. Let us bring civilization to you. You know what I mean? It's trying to stop stuff like this, where people, where women who happen to age well are, bur are burned alive as witches. You know, or if they happen to have a black cat in their yard that's not even theirs. You know, or or a man has a birthmark on his face. You know, like this is the kind of thing that I think they're trying. To be like, no, that's foolish, but they can't just pick and choose. They, all of it has to go. You know what I mean? So, okay, okay. Oh, give me. Oh, I don't want that. I want the book. I don't want a rusty bread knife. You have books for me? Collected verse of Gonzo de Ver. Blah, 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 blah. Where's Dandelion? Love. It, to love is to build a house of cards or play a game of chess, but one wrong word or ill-thought move and you must start afresh. Tide. Whenever I watch the tide recede, cold coils of fear grip around my heart. Will the seas sneak back calm and sure in the dark of night as they have before? Or will they stay on distant shores, leaving crushed shells and washed up dreams as memory of surfs of yore? I like it. I like poetry. I'm a fan. Apple juice! Uh, that's that's useful. <laughs> Last wish. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I love one. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Hang on. Okay, human life requires three things for sustenance, food, drink, and gossip. Ha <laughs> ha. It is thus no wonder that no matter where I travel, be it icebound, pavis, or the evergreen Toussaint, everyone asks me about the passions that bind... Oh, this is Dandelion. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I was like, maybe I just scroll down to the very bottom and see who wrote it, because it sounded like Dandelion. Uh, as a man both cautious and discreet, uh huh, I refuse to betray those secrets with one important exception. The history of their first encounter, the last, oh, right, because that's the book. Right, 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 The Last Wish, that's the book. It would be a veritable crime to hide its light beneath the bush. Nah, nah, nah. It all began when Geralt, when I were feeling a bit peckish, decided to fish our supper out of the lake, unburdened by heavy coin pouches. My hook snat. Oh, yeah! Free to powerful Jin. Yes. Began to throttle me. Yes. Yennefer happened to be there. Okay. Yes. He fell head white head over muddy boots in love with her. Well, freaking heck. Oh. 
He asked the jinn to bind his fate to that of the arrogant yet intriguing sorceress. His name is Julian Alfred Pankara. He's a V-Cow? Alumni at the Oxenford Academy. Yeah, that's him. Diamond desk. Thank you. Oh, wait. We already... Yeah. Um, books. Books are useful. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Well, now I'm freaking... I'm just gonna take all of this. Sorry. It's probably bad and I'm probably gonna get in trouble. Because thieving is not good. Nope, not interested in that. Oh, wait, what? Empty bottle. No. Okay. Hi, guy. Directly out of That's Northern not me. Cities. Who are you? He's talking about him, I think. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. Eh. If you will, let us approach the map. Need a drink. Oh boy, there's a lot to freaking ask about. Good golly, let me just crack this soda open while I deal with this. We'll start from the top. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. Uh -huh. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. Yes, I remember we that. They'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid, submit. Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. Why? Wait, His was attack that... took the uh... Kedwini by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes ah. and joined Radovid. And so by spring... Instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools. Yeah. Particularly dense Interesting ones that one Returning could do to that war, to Emir. This spring there was a massive battle. He's a in brilliant the tactician and strategist. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Oh, good. In the marshes, we're going to have tons of drowners. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now. Until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Var Emrys. Okay, so this is the blue is the Nilfgaard and the red is the free. Home, save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Okay. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Both sides have done that. Populace. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? <laughs> Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. Yep. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. If you don't know the area, Thus, don't go we've out. temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling. A former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger. What? Why'd you give it to somebody like that? Bloody Baron. 
I advise you well. Avoid him. Why would they give it to somebody a low-ranking person? You think they give it to a like a like a minor noble or something? Somebody who would be at least have some experience with ruling an area, but also be very appreciative of any thing that the Nilfgaards gave him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt. That's... I can't tell which one's which. In Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... Rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. Ah, shoot. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a world. Pogroms everywhere. And all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Shoot, man! It doesn't sound like a happy place to be. In the book, it wasn't either. Um, like, it's the city of, like, wealth and academia and science and blah, blah, blah. But the, the church there is, like, nasty. Like, wicked nasty. Like, like horrible, you know? I don't know. I don't know what the Nilfgaardians believe. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders ah. pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. So, like Siri is related to Skellige. They quarrel with each other, pillage, occasionally I think so. attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Are you going to not bother them? Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Does he have an heir? Oh, my foot's asleep. Oh, freaking. Oh, God. Okay. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light. Right, they have like a sun motif, but they're not like the eternal flame thing. Whoa, I'm oh. sorry. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to. I apologize. Can I talk to you again? Yes, go. Something else? Uh, nope. Okay, bye. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Everybody's hair looks very oily. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We were standing very close together. Oh, that's a document. I mean, uh, can I read it? Hang on. Um. Wrong button. Okay. 